Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another review. There's another paid request, this time for Charles Turner. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting pretty much any type of videos or topics, reactions, reviews, whatever, commentaries, whatever, feel free to send them either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And this is for a film called A California Christmas. Came out 2020 for Netflix. I went, what is this about? Pretty much, think of a Hallmark Channel movie, which they've done a lot of Christmas movies. But one that's a little bit better acted, a little bit better in terms of production quality, cinematography wise. And one where the two leads are not too bad because they're married in real life. I uh, forget what movie they met on, but they do each do each other and I guess they have been married for a few years before they did this it's one of those films that it's hard to talk about because it's very predictable it's very cliche this is literally a film you have seen done a hundred times uh, this is not usually my cup of tea in terms of movies. This is not usually my cup of tea when it comes to watching films. I'm not into these type of films. This is not a rant because it was just an average movie. It's an average film. And like I said, because of the stuff I mentioned, acting, chemistry leads, the leads of the chemistry, chemistry leads, what the fuck? That sounds like a shitty band. Chemistry Leads, coming up now. Can you imagine if there was a band called Chemistry Leads? The fuck kind of band is that? Shitty techno. But the leads of the chem... The, the chemistry between the leads... If I learned how to talk, they were 12. I think it made sense. They're married with each other. When I say typical and predictable... You have a rich playboy who doesn't want to get in a serious relationship with a woman. Uh, his parent works for, at this point, a bank. Says, listen, this one person has a farm, land, we want to buy it. Make them sell it to us. He thinks he's going to do that in five minutes and sweet talk the lady. Realizes the lady... Who lives on the farm with her mother who has cancer and her younger daughter who is chipper and happy and trying to give cookies or sweets. Maybe it's not cookie but sweets. Oh, she's a tough cookie to crack. So my buddy who's the chauffeur, limo driver. I mean what, are you Arthur? Or at least you're not Arthur too on the rocks. Okay, it's going to take me a few days. They think I'm this new ranch hand they hired called Manny. You don't, you don't find the real Manny. Uh, take him somewhere until I'm able to maybe sweet talk this lady and to get her to trust me. And then maybe I'll get her to sign this lease or sign this thing. Not at least, but sign this paper. So sell the land. And of course, he doesn't know what he's doing on the farm. He doesn't know how to milk cows. He doesn't know how to do anything. Oh my God, guys push manu man uh, manure oh this is disgusting yeah I mean just typical stuff and of course the lady's being bitchy to him because she has a hard shell but then you have the one guy in town who likes the girl but she's like we're just friends and then in a bar and the lead is hey why don't you leave her alone I want to talk to you buddy and then she likes the lead guy stood stuck up for her and then they start bonding and then you have montages and he starts doing the job on the ranch well and starts getting along with the mom and the younger sister and sweet potato pie or just you've seen this so many times before and it doesn't do anything unique creative or original the most original it does is maybe the chauffeur and the real manny Converse in which is better, Halo or Call of Duty. 
and man, the guy find out that Manny knows how to taste wine. The acting's not bad. I'll give you that. It's not. The, bad, the acting is not bad. If you like these kind of films, like I said, it's above a Hallmark movie. It's not as cringy as a Hallmark film. It doesn't really have much of a feel of Christmas. I mean, there's one or two shitty cover songs of Christmas songs. One at the beginning, one at the end. Someone wears like a Santa t-shirt at the end. Maybe during a montage, there's a point where you put up a wreath. But because it's sunny, and or it's the desert, and there's no snow, there's really... This could have been... It could have been called really anything. It could have been called a California 4th of July, a California Halloween, a California Easter, a California Tax Day. It could have been called any other name. It's very minute in Christmas. It's just the setup is the guys doing the streets before Christmas. But there's not a lot of Christmas cheer, Christmas motifs, Christmas magic in a film with Christmas in the title. So if you're really looking for a Christmas movie, you'd be like, it's barely Christmas. And you know where it's going to go. You know where it's going to go. He's going to be found out, but he realizes he was in the wrong. He's going to do something to help the family out, which it does. She, He's going to ask for forgiveness. She's going to forgive him. They're going to be in love with each other. He said, I don't want the riches. I want to be with this person. You know where the dominoes will fall. So there's nothing that surprising about it. I mean, I would say the most surprising thing is the acting wasn't too bad. And like I said, the production, it doesn't look as cheap as some of those <laughs> aforementioned Hallmark movies. But there's not a whole lot else to talk about. There really isn't. I'm kind of sitting there going, this feels like a... I could close my eyes and tell you what's happening without even looking at the screen. And it just, it's not really my cup of tea as usual. I mean, I'm more into horror, action, maybe comedy, sci-fi. But this is like, eh. I don't know what else to say about it. I'm not going to sit here and say it's a bad film. It's just, uh. Depends how you're into wannabe Hallmark movies. And I say that it being better than some of them. There was nothing to get angry about, but nothing to get excited about. Didn't really laugh. There wasn't really a lot of forced moments where he's trying to be a tearjerker. At least it did not do that. So it wasn't as insulting as some of those other movies. It just kind of eh, by the numbers, an okay by the numbers movie. Uh, that again, I don't even know why they even did the Christmas thing in the first place. But with that said, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye bye.